Did you see what she was wearing last night? How many times have you said this before? Well, we all like to check out people. When you are at a party or at a workplace or even when you just go to a mall. Well, what are the adjectives that you can use to describe someone's dress sense or to describe someone's clothes or attire? Well, that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. Hi friends, welcome back. It's me Neharika. And in today's lesson, we are going to look at some adjectives to describe someone's dress sense. Now, there are times when someone is dressed very attractively, but there are times when people are very poorly dressed. So, people love to comment on someone's dress sense. And if you do too, then how do you do that? Well, in English, we have certain adjectives that you can use to do so. So here I have some adjectives on the board. Let's understand how you can use them. The first one is clingy. Well, clingy is a perfect adjective that you can use for someone who is wearing very, very tight clothes. Yes, there are some women who love to wear tight clothes wherein the whole body shape is pretty much visible. Do you think that looks good? No, that looks awful. So if you tend to wear clingy clothes, it's time to change your wardrobe right now. So clingy can be used for a person who's wearing very tight clothes. They're so tight that the body shape can be seen. Moving on to another adjective, which is ill-fitting. Now, ill-fitting. Now, there are times when people end up wearing clothes which are not of their size. For example, I wear the S size, which is the small size. But if I end up wearing a dress which is of a large size, Oh, I'm going to look so funny. Yeah, I would not look good. So, which means that my dress is so ill-fitting. Well, have you seen Naharika? She wears absolutely ill-fitting clothes. You would end up saying that. So, if you spot someone who's wearing a different size of clothes, then you can use the adjective ill-fitting. Moving on to another adjective, which is plunging neckline. Yes, plunging neckline is used especially for women. Women who wear very low cut dress or tops. Now, if someone at a party that you meet is wearing the front part of the dress is really low or deep, then you can say, huh. Did you see her dress? It has such a plunging neckline. So plunging neckline is used for a deep or a very low curve dress. All right, let's look at another adjective, which is prim. Now, there are certain people who dress up really well. They are just perfectly dressed for an occasion. Like if you are going for a party, then yes, they are wearing a perfect party dress. If they are at work, then they, are, they wear like perfect formal clothes. So when you have to describe someone with this kind of dress sense, then you can use the adjective prim. Well, uh, Natasha always makes sure to dress very prim. So very prim, it means that she is always dressed the best and she's just bang on when it comes to her dress sense. 
So Prim is perfectly dressed. Perfectly and neatly dressed. Let's have a look at another adjective, which is roomy. Ooh, we all love wearing roomy clothes. So, well, if you look at the word, the first thing that will come to your mind is, well, roomy is used for spacious houses. Well, here we are talking about spacious clothes. So, which means some clothes that we all love to wear, which are like really loose and very comfortable. Like you feel so nice wearing loose clothes at times. But yeah, well, tend to avoid it if you are stepping out of the house. If you're in your house wearing loose clothes, roomy clothes, then that's okay. So there are people who wear roomy pants, which are like really loose, which are like falling off. So that's roomy pants. And people who tend to wear very loose and comfortable clothes will use this adjective for them. Okay, let's see which is the next adjective that I have for you. It's skimpy. Now, skimpy is uh, pretty much similar to this adjective, which is clingy. Well, skimpy is also used for tight-fitting clothes. Oh, you can't breathe. The t-shirt is so tight. But skimpy is not just for tight clothes, but also for the clothes that show off too much of skin. Well, there are so many women who love to do that. They love wearing skimpy clothes where they can show off their skin, they can show off their body. And the clothes are really tight and tiny. Okay, so use this adjective for tight, tiny clothes and the clothes that show off too much of skin all right moving on to the next adjective which is threadbare now there are certain clothes that we just love way too much we don't want to give it away we keep it we keep wearing it every now and then and then now the clothes are so old that they are all tattered or they have holes in it they have become so thin. So such kind of clothes can be described as threadbare. So if you know someone who's always dressed in threadbare clothes, then use this adjective. Oh my God, look at your clothes. They are so threadbare. So threadbare is like old tattered clothes. Okay, the next adjective is frumpy. Well, someone who is so old fashioned or their dress sense is so boring and it's so unattractive, then a great adjective to use is frumpy. Well, my friend John, his dress sense is so frumpy. So frumpy is an adjective that can be used for someone who doesn't dress too well. Yeah, poorly dressed. And then the next adjective that I have for you is overdressed. Does that happen to you? Well, it happens, it has happened to me before. So I went out for this formal gathering and I was so overdressed. Like I thought it's a big party. I didn't know it's just a very small formal gathering. I thought it's like a big party with so many people. And I saw and I realized that I am so overdressed. So at times when you're not supposed to, but you end up dressing in a very elaborate way, in a very dressy manner, then you are overdressed for the occasion. Okay, so to dress elaborately. And then the opposite to this adjective is another adjective which is underdressed. There are also times when you end up going for an occasion 
And when you look around, you realize that, wow, everybody is dressed so well, so attractively. And look at me. I am so embarrassed. So if you are not dressed well for an occasion, like you're not dressed formally, probably for a formal event that you're attending, you are like wearing these tattered pants and a loose t-shirt, of course you're underdressed. So when you realize that, well, this is a great adjective to use. So it's completely opposite to overdressed. Overdress, uh, underdressed is again, something like poorly dressed. or when you are not dressed right for an occasion. All right, so go ahead, use these adjectives in your conversation. The next time you're checking out someone and you want to pass a comment, then use one of these adjectives. And I'll be back very soon with a new lesson. Until then, you take care.